Well, I took a bit of a break there. I was in the year all pumped and ready for the next year with big plans and ideas and I'm all jazzed and then uh, you nope out come January and February. This time of year makes me miserable. I'm sure I'm not alone in that, but whatever. We're back with a sketchbook tour. The sketchbook comes from around 2016 when I got back into art after a really long break, uh, just adulting and paying bills and all the boring stuff. I bought a ton of art supplies and sketchbooks, but uh, honestly, I'm definitely a digital person and always have been. Uh, lately, I have been sketching in my sketchbooks because I realized when going through some drawers and boxes that I have about 7,000 sketchbooks, for Christ's sakes. And so a lot of them are started and just left uh, by the wayside for digital art, of course. I realize I have actually made some progress, which is nice to see when I look at the current pages that I've been doing versus what we're about to look at. Uh, practice really does work. As annoying as it is when people tell you that, it really does. So yeah, let's get on with it. Remember when I said 2016? I lied. This is 2011 on the first page. That's Jeddah there that I'm pointing at. Literally the beginnings of the Stellar Elite universe. Some guns, robots, and little alien doodles. This is some retro fun here. Nothing really to say here, except you know you're a real artist when you've decimated the binding of your moleskin in this fashion. Here's where I start playing around with watercolors, patterns, materials, more than one thing on a page. We love to see that. I had a brief nautical moment in my sketchbook here over the next few pages. I'm a big fan of like anchor motifs and lighthouses and little things like that. We got some wildlife on the first page here. I think that I like this theme because it allows for really fine detail as well as sort of big swoopy swirly things and I'm a fan of both of those things so I don't know. Random nautical three pages and that's it for the rest of the book. There's no more. And boys! I realized I'd fallen into the pretty girl art trap and I didn't want to stay there because I know I wanted male characters. So more playing around with markers, patterns, and uh, profiles. They're a little strange, but I kind of like these guys. This is just a quick thumbnail for a Mother's Day gift. It turned out pretty cool. And here it is, the beginning of the Stellarverse. There's Jetta on the right and a horrible portrait. <laughs> God. On the left, we're playing with Insignia, um, referencing Starfleet essentially and trying really hard to reference real world naval and marine units and trying to find my own way. I have to revisit this, obviously. It's kind of a deep topic. My first attempt at a ship, that is weird. Also, that's Jaro. His name has changed. I am stealing that name for someone else. Here's more Jetta in her uniform, looking very weird. <laughs> I'm gonna call this segment Natasha tries to get fancy with pencil portraits. Whether or not I succeeded is, I don't know, I'll leave that to you guys. I, uh, I enjoy doing patterns and adding marker for some contrast and color. I still kind of like that about these. I was really timid to render these properly because as a digital artist, I'm terrified of no undo. I'm sure many of us share this. Uh, I do like this one of Jetta. I think I got the proportions pretty good compared to the model I was drawing this from. I like that it spreads across two pages. Uh, here we've got Jaro again with the name that is now being repurposed. I tended to draw eyes too high up and far apart. I think this is like common when newbies try to pencil portrait. Anybody who follows my Stellar Elite stuff might recognize this girl. This is Vare. She also had a different name. <laughs> I was really indecisive with their names in the beginning. So this next set of drawings is interesting. Um, oh man, those noses, I, I don't know. I'm trying to get um, a likeness or some consistency by drawing them over and over again. Uh, I do think I got somewhere with Jaro's, like I kind of liked them in the end. Jetta's are another story. I, I am using real world models as a reference, but I just kind of take the features that I think are interesting and try to stylize it and, you know, create my own vibe with it. I think it's kind of creepy as artists to like 
take real world people and make our characters look exactly like them. I don't know if that's just me. Let me know if you think that's also weird. Uh, <laughs> I need to revisit this. It is something that's really important uh, if you're doing a stylized characters. Um, I know I heard some artists say it and I was like, oh, I gotta do that. I don't know if I should have done that so early on. I think I was just not skilled enough for this at the time. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll come back to this. Oh, look, I tried to gouache. <laughs> no. More drawings of the Stellar Gang with the wrong names. Who dis? <laughs> my god. This character, for some reason I got it in my head while introducing him online that I wanted him to be kind of a secret or mysterious. He became Mr. Redacted as a result. I have redacted his name. That's right, you can't know it. <laughs> These drawings, though, oofed. Not much to say about this page, except I cannot do full figures in a moleskin this small. I just can't. <laughs> These next several drawings are an example of what I'd like to avoid going forward. And I have been in my current sketchbook adventures, which is just drawing one friggin' head on a page and calling it a day. It, <laughs> I just think that's a little weak sauce, at least for myself. I'm not trying to throw shade. I just want more on a page. It just looks really blank. I also am awkward on the left side of the page, so I would flip it upside down, which is why we have upside down portraits. <laughs> oh, these last ones, eee, ooh, yikes. This is the part in the sketchbook where I get a little silly and impatient to just finish it. Uh, <laughs> cover up crap with more crap is a tactic. Use this to cover up something you don't like or to just fill a page without drawing anything. Get some washi tape, some post-its, grid paper, whatever. Just fill a page. Who cares? Nobody. Uh, <laughs> this is like the two-thirds mark of the sketchbook, but I'm going to finish it here. I'd like to keep my videos around the 10-minute mark. I got a little lengthy in my last one, so I'm trying to tighten it up. Uh, <laughs> so that's going to be it. Let me know if any of this is relatable to you. I think obviously as artists, we share a lot of the same struggles. It's fun to talk about them. I had a blast like going through my old sketchbooks and just ripping on my old work. Thanks a lot for watching and like and subscribe if you want to follow my art journey or any more sketchbook reminiscings and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!